even care about the Ottomans? How much of a fleet of heavies do they even boast? 16? Okay, that's a few. But they don't have naval ideas. I don't think I should be too afraid of them. Well, they could march their armies down here. And Ethiopia is my rival. Or are they are they anymore? No, Ethiopia is neutral towards me and probably wouldn't give access. So I could still fight them. It would just mean I'd have to 100% them and then I would only demand one province. That isn't even the thing I'm claiming. Still have to stomp Moravi. But I wonder, Ethiopia might just give them uh, some free uh, condottieri because everybody hates me. And I still feel like I'm lacking in heavy ships. I should invest in more. I did just fill my coffers, so we might as well celebrate with, I don't know, 10 heavies. Going over force limit because we don't even care. Auto fleet would be in the med, Jake. This is true, they'd have a long way to come around, but they would likely come around. So, with that in mind, I probably shouldn't have you mothballed, because I may need to jump to react to any invasion here. All this, only for Zanzibar. We will take Hobyo, eventually. Let's just strike him down. I'm not going to make Maravi a co-belligerent, that would just hurt. I wonder if I can strike you where you are. I can as well. That greatly amuses me. Or maybe they'll just run away faster. Uh, yeah, their tag I think is... Ah. Whatever. Let's just go. Why even worry? Let's take this guy over first. Try to kick him out of the war. The fort placement is pretty advantageous for us. And the ability to crush their fleet is pretty swell. In fact, wow, there weren't their heavies like they were made of sawdust. Still need to protect my own, though. So, not the smallest of enemies. Even the Africans holding plenty of units here. But we just love fighting wars that are uh, far from beneficial for us. Don't know what it's taking you... Did I somehow stop you from landing here? Oh well, either way, let's march down south, because if I can kick one of them out of the war that just makes life a lot easier for me. <laughs> yeah, let's not walk through uh, horrible attrition here. I should probably just go straight for the the neck. Where is even their capital? Okay, it's a capital with a level 4 fort on it. Good thing we have this two-maneuver guy. See, it's a bit telling that uh, these Africans have more morale than me by a lot. Military drill and the advisor, you know, I would love to get an advisor, but I can't like being able to keep up in discipline. Not even win on discipline, but just keep up. Those losses for me were scary. Oh, five, uh, five fire general couldn't have helped things for me either. At least we have something resembling supply around here. No, if I don't keep my units together, they're going to get slaughtered, actually. Cogwall, occupied by the Ottomans. Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? But they're only going to occupy these two provinces. My own optimism will keep that at bay. Meanwhile, my... Heavy. You know, why don't I hire myself a new admiral? Heck, even a new explorer. Because there are probably new places to go and explore, too. Here 
just hoping I can take this place on. I have plenty of cannon for the job, but it's just savannah, right? No, it's dry lands, so no defensive bonuses to be had here. That supply is pretty arse in both provinces. But it doesn't seem like they're sailing over to make my life miserable. Jake, you didn't assign the explorer. How do I keep messing that? I don't think I've failed to do that with land units. I just always manage to do it with uh, naval units. And these guys have no general whatsoever, so let's fix that. That's more like what I'm talking about. Ten to ones. I never leave home without them. <laughs> Their ability to hold out against me is unnerving. Thankfully these guys are oh going to destroy me it seems. They're going to get back up from there. And they still have their five fire general. This won't go well. Still not going to go all that well. I could just leave you there and have you reinforce. But they're going to reinforce, reinforce with all these fresh units. Probably defeat me and then move on. Hmm. Or I can get everybody over to here. Or I could take it a bit riskier. And barely leave anybody on this siege. Heck, leave nobody on the siege. Too risky, and I'm gonna gonna lose out for it, I think. And they're bringing in more. Down to the wire, we won, but only barely. Unsurprisingly, the Ottomans took over there. I just hope they don't find a way down, or else I'm in a lot of trouble. Right, I need this done pretty quickly so I can get back to my delicious siege over here. Risky, very risky. And getting these guys out is going to take more than just their capital. But hey. Risk big, win big, that's what Sid taught me. Why be spirit of Ottomans when the Africans just trashed you, Jake? This is why you should focus on military ideas, otherwise you're going to feel the pain. And that, like I said, is not going to get them out of the war, but it will come a long way to helping with that. Level 4, level 4, level 4. Lots of good forts, which will be pretty painful for me to take down. Speaking of painful, I have almost tapped my manpower already. But it looks like I have some weaker people that I can stomp on, which is exactly how I operate. This is a good province of theirs that I should target. My units are just trashed. Interesting that they want to reinforce there. Did they reinforce with more anyway? Oh boy. Just can't catch a break fighting breaking Africans. The losses here are... Well, I'm already tapped on manpower. And getting these guys out is going to be a struggle here, unless I sp well, I have some answers for that. When in doubt, grab other Africans to fight Africans for you. Oh shoot! 
the weaker one is on his way. And he's just going to uh, destroy me instantly. Okay. If that's how it's going to be. Length of war, ally in war, military strength. <laughs> I just can't catch a break. Okay, I still think that uh, Qualaman is where I should be heading to. Splat go them. He's even going to make it in time to splat these guys, which is terrifying. Well, it also is what it is. Where's it going from there? It's not one of my campaigns unless I lose to somebody hilariously weaker than me. He's going to Lundu, probably trying to make his way over to Senna so he can uh, murder my army. That's what I'd do if I were him. <laughs> now the Ottomans have internal conflict, so they probably wouldn't be joining by now. But I still need to take more of their lands, or else they are, uh, they're not going to peace out just like that. But I don't want to run into them, because then they'll take these units and come and reinforce. This won't be enough to get them out, though. And as they reinforce, they're going to think that they're stronger than me and not want to come out of this. Of course, I could be blockading them wouldn't help very much. It would help some. Consolidate while you have the men, Jake. Oh, the men left to keep your horses going. Mm, yeah, I can reinforce a bit more, because if it's just Melindy, Melindy bring very little to the pile. And they are worse at fighting. Well, somehow. So what makes you so good? You have infantry combat ability, granted. Melindy have... Nothing that helps them fight on the battlefield. So there you go. The more that you know. I still feel like he's coming along. He's going to go to Senna, then here, and then kill me. Whereas I need to get him out on the double. Don't know how, though, because he has this fort blocking me and those units blocking me. And I don't really have a particularly good province to run to. Err... Uh, hello, Ottoman Navy. Well, I just went and trashed my, uh... Hold on, this is where I could bring my explorer in to ruin your day. You have more heavies than me, you have a lot more more of everything than me, but still. I should be able to bring some extra heavies to the fray and dismantle you. Maybe. Also, you're coming along to the coast of Safala with your lights. I'd rather not get involved in that. This is why you should plan a war. I'd have to give uh, Bintan back to Malacca. I don't think so. Do you like money? Didn't think so. But they wouldn't betray their ally for gold because they're a good ally. Oh well, let's not make it seem like I was thinking about uh, how to give up to these guys. I really don't want to be fighting you right now because I don't have the capacity to do so. There's a lot of things I don't have the capacity to be doing. One of them is fighting all of this. But they could, would, and should be on the march against me now. Whereas I need three more uh, reasons for peace with them. And if they deliver a smashing blow to me, well, you can see why things wouldn't go my way. Do I have two of the same general here? Well, that's not confusing at all. Good. Got rid of the Ottoman fleet at the very least. Grabbed us a few more. You guys can just go away and yeah, let's not get rid of uh, rid of our leader there. Can't remember what you were privateering, but 
was probably up in... No, we've done Beijing. Where would you have been privateering with 13 units? If you were hang hanging around here, I can't even think where it would be. Nope, I've got no idea. How about you just protect trade over there? Which is doing me no good, I don't think. Whatever, I can worry about that later. Right now I have other things to worry about, and that is how I'm getting steamed by Africans. Okay, so adding to the list of not very good things happening right now, Vigianagar have declared war upon me. Don't think he'll sink these guys, but they should probably go home. My heavies are probably safe though. I like how he tried to snipe my fleet, but yeah, he sees me at war with the Ottomans and he knows. The Ottomans wouldn't peace out uh, with any great speed, but I am dangerously close to piecing this guy out. I mean, I don't know what he wants, but ducats aren't it. I remember back in the day when you could just piece out somebody for ducats and that was it. I won't get this in time. He'll probably take Quasimain though. Him taking back these sieges is actually going to hurt me. I wonder if I could just get all my uh, lights over there to help with the blockade pro uh, progress. Alright, so please make your way home. I only lost one of my heavies and the rest will repair. Due to glorious ideas. And damn, now they're uh, less likely on peace. Probably because of this nonsense. And I can't fight them. They're too strong for me. So where's he gonna go? Hopefully focus on his capital and let me focus on other things. Ah, he's having none of that. That coastal province is an important one though. So I can grab a few of you and send you over here and that might be enough. Whew. Looking forward to retreating away from here once I've pieced you out and then uh, taking my time to smash the remaining. Easy does it, and there we go. No, there we don't go. And ongoing battles is going to make this uh, a lot worse for me than it already is. Alright, go and uh, run away. Yeah, ongoing battles gives that a fairly mighty minus. Let's see if I can't speed it up with my own units there. Oh well, that helps. Finally. A triumphant victory over the pathetic Africans. Let's, uh, what'll I do? Merge you together, get both of you on there, turn you back, probably murk up a touch more, and then deal with the remainder. And we never speak of Maravi again. What friends did Vijayanagar bring in, Jake? Uh, this time he did not bring in Andra. Which I find a bit odd, but hey, it is what it is. My units there are not facing any real adversity. Fifth, no, okay. Good. But we have learnt that the Ottomans will uh, come along there. So I'll split you up. Unfortunately, I do not have the manpower to reinforce all of this. So, actually, what I will do is merge together all my infantry. And there we go. And now I need five and six mercs. Ah. 
Then I go and invade the northern one, Melindy. Melindy should be a lot easier to deal with. We should speak about you taking proper military ideas, Jake. Britain will smoke you so hard. Britain will very likely smoke me in a variety of interesting ways. Would also be very interesting is... Okay, so please stop protect, uh, privateering Ceylon for now. Dismiss one of you who will abduct this amazing admiral. And then join the fray so I can win that battle a lot easier. And then the rest of you can go and privateer in Ceylon. But you should probably still stay in that port. Thankfully I have so many heavies there, I should be able to win that. So five if you needed to go there, six if you needed to go there. Jake, are you going to no CP invade Europe? I'm working on it. This is a uh, work in progress. It's not like I've worked out all the finer points just yet. Manpower is a finer point, and I've certainly worked that one to the bone. Good thing I can raise those additional levies, right? Yeah. Don't often do that. Because it's really not worth the 15 hit that you get. So, you guys... Maybe you can uh, find new and interesting ways over here. I can take Zanzibar, but Zanzibar is linked up to this fort. I should probably work on the north then. So here I was thinking Vijayanagar wouldn't strike me, but they are striking for a crusade? Man, just can't catch a break, can I? You can just join back up with them. I feel pretty safe from the Vigianagaris. Alright. Forget reinforcements. Who needs them? Let's go and take on Melindy. And I'm not scared of these guys. I'm a little scared of the attrition that I'm about to face, but like I said, Melindy do not bring much to the party. If you try to... Jake, if you block the strait, then Zanzibar won't be blocked by the fort anymore. Aye. But then what good is it? I mean, I would occupy it, but I'm going to be occupying it anyway, since naturally I'm going to destroy this guy. A bit of a shame that Melindy came over to ruin my forces here. I should probably, just maybe... Have well, I'm gonna have to erect something to deal with you. Five of you should deal with it. But what are we talking about here? The East Indian Ocean. Right, so I'm gonna get ten of you. Maybe we'd better go just better to have the whole lot of you. Uh, please hunt enemy fleets in the East Indian Ocean so they can't attack me like that again. I'm too scared of this since they actually can't take my capital. Soon I'll have a colonial nation here. Not quite a colonial nation to give me an extra merchant, but I can always just subsidize them into doing that for me. Sure, I'll forget about that as well. All right, Africano's gotta go. I don't need manpower where I'm going. I'm hoping he doesn't intercept me here. He could, but I can hope. At least I'll be able to secure my war goal. So, how about that Japan? Wasn't I meant to be getting a spy network going on you? Sounds like the kind of thing I would forget. I got some claims on you, though. And our truce, our truce doesn't have that much left to go on it, and I'm going to be completely unfit to fight him. Well, go figure. 
So he's bringing his army. He's trying to bring, bring the pain. It's hideous though. He has tech 17, I have tech 21. In any normal circumstances, I would be pasting the floor with this guy. But these are not normal circumstances. Let's go and ravage what's left of his fleet. I should get my army together. And then just ravage his army as well. And so much ravaging to be done. Okay, that was too simple. He's going to run back. I wonder if he's going to uh, attack me here. Should probably have the siege. Okay, yeah. He wants to. That's the scary part. That's one of the many scary parts. At least if he walks around me, that's a bit better. I want you to have the one siege guy and march over there. I'm going to take one of you. Well, actually. I'll take you and march you back. So that we have the extra siege for that. So we can take Mogadoshu. I trust you remember it. It's got a lot of history. Okay, that's a little unfair. I wanted to scupper him. In any case. I'll probably have to mince his army before I can do much else. But I want to take down his forts. So that he doesn't have anywhere to run to. Might be a bit to demand, as long as the Ottomans aren't coming along to ruin my day. Well, I'm sure they'll find a way. Did Jake westernize? Heavens no. Does this look like the actions of a westernized country to you? Okay, what can I do with my cannons? I could send them individually down there just to deal with it. They're as good as anything. And then just keep my army around here. Kind of bad to have them here when they're smoking... Uh, smoking lack of supply. And I want him to go back to Mogadoshu. He'll be there for a while. Well, not so long since I didn't give it much of a... Reinf um, much of a garrison, but it'll be okay. Switch these guys out since you'll have a better job of blockading over there. Coast of Pepperan. There, bang, go their heavies. So, $50 million question. Do I engage? I see no reason to engage. I'm just going to split off all of my mercs. It's kind of fun fighting in this, in these very unorthodox situations. These are not situations you should know how to fight in, because if it's already come to this, you've done something terribly wrong. You've done a lot of things terribly wrong. Hey, Jake, good job on Rights of Man. Can't wait to play it. Hey, let's not, uh, let's not say good job until we've tried it. That said, it's really good. If I had to give it a tagline, I'd say the best thing since Art of War. Everybody holds up Art of War as, you know, the, uh, the DLC done right. Or something to that effect. But I'd say this is as good if not better. Phew, it's a good thing I'm really good or else I'd be, uh, oh yeah, colonies. People wonder why I don't like colonies. It's because they require certain things that I'm not particularly good at. Okay, well at least down you go. Merge the rest of you together. I am not paying attention to my money here. I kind of wish I was because uh, this is a not good situation to be in financially. I.e. losing money. If I was losing money much faster, I'd be at great risk of falling into debt, and you know my feelings on debt. I don't do it. Getting you out of here so I can just dismiss you. I don't want to pay for you. And really, I'd rather not have to fight these guys, because they're just going to give me a lot of casualties to either reinforce or just lose manpower from.